One of its remarkable discoveries by India by Geological Survey of India is presence of lithium deposits in India. Now lithium is nowadays called as white gold. We know what is, why it is called as white gold. The simple reason is its application for electronic vehicles and usage in electronic gadgets. Now lithium's discovery in India in itself is a remarkable development. In this section we would understand the geological Basis and the lithium that has been found is of the G3 level, which is the inferred level. So we'll understand what are G1, G2, G3, and G4 levels. We'll also talk about the presence, the areas where this is discovered. So it is believed that there is 5.9 million tons of lithium reserve that has been found in the region of Jammu Kashmir, the Resai district and within the Resai district itself, the mountain range is the Salal Hemana mountain range and on this mountain range, the lithium deposits have been found. If we talk about the largest lithium deposits, those are in Chai. However, if we talk about the largest refining capacities, those are in China. So there is a huge lot that we need to understand. And India's discovery would definitely make India self-reliant in electric vehicle uh, production. Now, lithium is a soft, silvery, white metal and since it is soft silvery white it is called as white gold now lithium can serve for various purpose for batteries in electric vehicles as i said so it would reduce our dependence on import of oil it can be also used in electronic gadgets for example laptops smartphones various other electronic devices so if we look onto the map here this is the border of jammu kashmir and in the Riyazi district, the Salal Hemana mountain range is the region where lithium discovery has been done. Now, this point is only 30 miles away from the line of control. And therefore, uh, this is a strategic place. This region lies in the region of Jammu. And again, has been a place where um, off and on the stability has been a big issue. Despite of all that, there are various mineral blocks which have been discovered. It's a not a new discovery. The same expeditions went on in 1990s in the region of Jammu Kashmir and there were um, indications that lithium could be present here. However, with the recent explorations, this has been confirmed at a G3 level. Now let's talk about the capacities worldwide. So Bolivia, Argentina and Chai together are known as the lithium triangle of the world and they have huge lithium resources. Then we have US, Australia, but with this discovery, India has taken over to China, which is in itself a very big uh, discovery. But when we talk about mines production, definitely we have discovered right now. So no mines as of now. Uh, Australia and China have huge number of mines as of now. Now, the idea is by 2070, we need to move towards a path of net zero carbon emission. And for that net zero carbon emission, this lithium discovery could be an essential way forward. And India can satisfy uh, a huge demand using lithium and reduce its dependence on oil significantly. So there were 18 different projects which had been going across India. These were in Chhattisgarh, Arunachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, Jharkhand, Meghalaya, Nagaland and of uh, Rajasthan as well and of this one of the places where we have for sure identified lithium is in Jammu Kashmir. Now where are these lithium mines present? In the regions of Bolivia, Argentina and Chile which are known as the lithium triangle they are present in brines right. Uh, if we talk about the region of Australia, Canada uh, in Australia, Canada and China, they are actually found in hard rock formations. In Kashmir again, it is found, but it is found in bauxite rock. So the variations where lithium has been found across different parts is very, very important. And the next important step that we would require now is since we have already discovered how we can extract it economically viable and do the purification and refining process in a very easy manner.
so when uh, the geologists classify there is four stage of international classification of mineral exploration which is acceptable worldwide the first is the g4 which is reconnaissance survey which says that there are indirect evidence that there could be presence of a mineral in a given region the g3 in which the jammu kashmir riyasi district lithium reserves have been found is the prospecting stage it is also known as the inferred stage now this is the stage where we have the interpretations based on three things based on what based on geology based on geophysical and geochemical aspects based on these three we have a prospective site that this is a location where lithium could be extracted the next is the g2 phase which is known as general exploration and here we say that the resource is available in continuity and this can be extracted continuously and the last one is the g1 phase which is an extensive phase of um, uh, presence of the mineral which is known as the detailed exploration so we are at at this point in the g3 stage which is also known as the prospecting or the inferred stage for the resources so those are some of the key things that we have discussed for today uh, this is a remarkable discovery extremely important for your prelims for your geography optional for your geology optional as well for ifs uh, and your geologist examinations as well so uh, must follow the content that we are updating on the channel regularly and also we would be bringing in the regular map series so do follow that as well and the useful links are available in the description thanks for joining in